Here's a bunch of molds Fnatic sent me years ago. They then sent me some more. And then some more again. And after giving a lot of feedback, everyone was happy with this one. So this is what was made into an actual mouse. And here it is, the bolt. So I already commented on all the negatives that were on these shapes early on, which means this one, I wouldn't actually change anything on it. It's really good for what it is. So it isn't designed by me, I just gave a lot of pointers. So it's not my favorite shape, but it is a really good shape. Very safe and very easy to find a grip on it. Simply put, it's like a slightly bigger Razor Viper Mini, but with the hump further back and straighter sides. And of course it's wireless. So there's still some curvature to the sides and they went with a more rounded back on top. But it is fairly subtle, so I think it's still going to suit a lot of people. And only very subtle comfort curves in the buttons. I wanted deeper, but obviously most people they asked back then said no. Comfort grooves are getting more popular, but I think I still need to convince a lot more people. Here it is from the base. The sensor is centered, and you can use it with wireless 2.4 and Bluetooth. It has wide but thin feet, and they also give you some replacements in the box. And you can see how it flares out a little at the back, giving the thumb and little finger some extra comfort. It only flares out a little toward the front, which is good because it makes it more of a safe shape, and it doesn't increase the width that much, which as I've said in the past, I think helps aim the most as in the width of the mouse is the most important measurement. It has side buttons on the left only, but the shell is symmetrical. Here it is next to some other mice for a general idea of the size. And the grip width is about 5.6 centimeters. Length is about 12. And height is about 3.8. And the button height is about two centimeters, which is fairly low and these are pretty good dimensions. I'd recommend this mainly for claw and fingertip grip, for hands between 18 and 20 centimeters. Palm grip would need under 18 centimeters, as I can't grip it with palm, unless I use an elevated grip with fingertips hanging over the buttons. The buttons are separate from the shell, and one issue on these early copies is that there is a bit too much movement left and right. I hope that's fixed on the later ones. If you get one, please leave a comment below to let me know. And now here's a sound test. The clicks are quite good, snappy, not too loud, and no pre-travel. I use the wheel in Apex Legends to ping enemies and jump, and to punch people. The tension seems really good. I haven't had any accidental attacks, even while jumping a lot or pinging. It can be a bit loud on fast scrolls. The steps are quite tight, but in casual browsing, it's quiet. So I think this is a really good balance. In Apex, mouse 4 and 5 are for collecting items and using my ultimate. Didn't have an issue using them but they do have a bit of a hollow, mushy feel. It's not a great click, but they are fine. DPI button at the moment is locked to DPI. I hope they include a binding option in the software. Default DPI is 400, 800, 1200, and 1600, but you can change the profile as it says in the manual, and then set it between 100 and 12,000. And on that note, the software is an early version, very basic. You can change the debounce. In my experience, it's best to set mice to four, unless you want the double click issue which some apparently do. Latency in wireless mode seems low, feels good in game, and if you plug it in, it feels about the same. Also, the cable is a nice smooth braid, so even if you run out of battery, you can still use it while plugged in. Battery life is solid though, so should be fine. They also include the adapter, so you can easily leave it next to your pad, then plug it in when needed. And of course, it uses USB Type-C. Both copies, black and white, weigh about 70 grams. Pretty decent for a wireless mouse this size. It's been fun playing with them, great performance in game. So all in all, it should be a solid choice for anyone with the right hand size and grip. Great safe shape, solid features, pretty well made, although because it's pre-production, I can't say for sure. It's been fine in Windows and gaming though. So I'd say we have a new top tier wireless mouse on the market. By my testing, Fnatic have done really well. The one argument you could make is that they played it a bit too safe on the shape, but I'd counter that saying that this shape is so safe we actually needed one this size on the market that's wireless. So if this is what you've been waiting for, Fnatic has delivered. I do have an affiliate link with Fnatic if you want to help support what I do. I'll leave that link in the description, but of course hasn't changed my opinion. I wasn't too keen on the previous batch of mice they made, but this one I really like. I mean I helped them design it, so of course. All they had to get right was the technical aspects, and it seems they did. So good job Fnatic, and also thanks for listening to my advice about the shape. 
I think I gave good advice, but I guess we'll find out when people actually try it. And thanks to them for sending them out for testing and review. Use your links below, subscribe, like and share, and I'll catch you in the next.